Hey guys, it's Heather. I'm here today. I'm going to do a little um, junk journal with me. And I'm going to journal in these new little journals that I have. And I have a bunch of these in my shop, if you're interested. Um, Heather Wilkerson Art, my Etsy shop. And so I'm going to show you some cool things that you can do with these sweet little journals. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my journal. And I'm going to do the front page first and I'm going to do a little series um, and create in this little journal so you can see all the different kind of things that you can use this for. Okay, so the first thing that I have is a little bit of tissue paper. This is Tim Holtz tissue paper and I just ripped it up. Whatever extra little tissue paper that you have that has some cool funky designs on it then you can use that and I'm just gonna lay some glue down and I think it's like yeah, right in here this is the best glue this is um, scotch create glue and it really works it sticks really good out of all the glue sticks that I've used that's my favorite Then I'm just going to glue this down here. You could also use like some Mod Podge if you have time for it to dry. And I don't mind wrinkles because I like everything to look interesting and and not perfect, you know? I think that's what makes junk journaling really special. Then I'm just going to cut this little piece off. Sure, I got it all down. Okay. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I have this really sweet picture. And I printed these. I have, I'm going to put two pictures down. Um, and I printed these with my little Fomeo printer. And you can do it if you have like a sprocket or any kind of printer like that. So I'm going to cut these edges off real quick. And then the hard part is pulling the sticker off when you when you do that. There we go. Then I'm just going to lay this little sticker down, like right here. What's fun about these little journals too is it doesn't take very long. So, you, you know, if you don't have a lot of time to journal, you just want to do something fun and quick, these are perfect for that. Then I have this. I got this out of um, jo Johanna's shop. I think I'm saying that right. Um, anyways, this is going to be like a little interaction piece. So I'm going to take some art glitter glue and I'm just going to glue the sides. And you can take some like vintage photo and ink around the sides. And I'm going to put this down like right here. And 
and then I'm going to do the same for this one. And this is going to open up like that. Like a little. You can even do a little journaling in here if you wanted to, which I probably will off camera. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I wanted to take this little piece. And I'm going to cut this down a little bit. It's a little bit too big. I'm just going to cut it down a little. Here we go. Then I have this sweet little hashtag thing. And I'll put this over here. And I'm just going to use my tiny attacher and attach that. Like that. Then I'm going to get some washi tape. Okay, got it. And I always put a little bit of glue on my washi because it just doesn't ever really stick that great. And then I'm just going to kind of tip this in a little bit. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Let me cut this off. I'm just going to put it to the side of my paper, kind of line it up, and then fold that washi tape over. Just like that. Then I'm going to get another little piece of washi tape, some glue on it, and put it on the inside like that. And then I have this little word, love, and I'm going to ink around this with some vintage photo. Then I'm going to just use some art glitter glue. And I kind of want that to be crooked like that. No, oh, I don't want that to be crooked. I changed my mind. I want it to be like that. Okay. Then I have this another little sweet picture here. Let me get the little sticker off the back. This is the hard part. Okay, there we go. That'll drive you crazy. It's normally not that hard, um, but I cut the edges off so you couldn't really see. Oops, and I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off at the bottom. And 
Oh, I got a little bit over. I'm not going to pull it off. That's okay. So then I have this little thing in here. And then what I'm going to do is I have this little candle thing. And I'm going to melt some wax. I'm taking three of these little wax things and I'm going to melt them. Here we go. Okay, while we're waiting for that to melt, I have this little tab that says today. And I'm going to take my tiny attacher and I'm just going to attach this up here. You can put all kinds of really cool tabs and stuff in your journals like fabric and all kinds of neat things. And then I'm just waiting for this to melt. So on this little journaling, you'll have like um, journaling space here and journaling space on the flaps. And I'm going to write about each picture. And I'm going to do that off camera, but you get the gist. I'm going to show you how to do this. I love doing this. Okay, so you take your wax like this, just give it a nice little pour, and it dries really quickly. Look at that. That's really cool. Then you can take like a little pen and go over so you can really see like the heart. There you go. And that is it. That is my fun little page. The little things open. It's a little interactive page. And then you have this. And that's it. And you can write over here or over here in all the little empty spaces. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.